Mmm, that is a great cup of coffee. Hey everyone, John with Freshwater Systems here, and in our series of answering frequently asked questions, today we're going to discuss the best water for coffee, tea, and espresso. Why should you use filtered water for coffee, tea, and espresso? Using filtered water with coffee, tea, or espresso is incredibly important when you consider that 98% of all those beverages is made up of water. How does water affect the taste of coffee? Water affects the taste of coffee if it's not very good, so it's important to filter it. 98% of that cup of coffee is water. And as you can imagine, if the water is tastes bad, smells bad, it's really going to affect the flavor of your coffee. It's important to understand things that are going to affect the flavor of the coffee. For example, on city water, chlorine or chloramine is crucial to get it out before you brew your cup of coffee. You'd be amazed at how much better it would taste. Is it safe to use tap water for coffee? Using tap water for coffee is safe, assuming that the tap water is coming from a municipal supply. If it's well water, well, that's, that's up to the well owner to make sure it's safe. But if we assume that the tap water is safe, using it for coffee is just as safe. May not taste great, but it's just as safe. Do coffee makers purify water? Coffee makers do not purify water, at least I'm not aware of one that does. What is the best filtration system for a coffee shop? The best filtration for a coffee shop is completely going to depend upon the, the kind of water that is coming into the coffee shop. Coffee and espresso have to have a certain grade of water. That water needs to have a little bit of mineral in it. For example, TDS should be somewhere between 100 and 150 part per million. Uh, a little bit of hardness sometimes is good, uh, 2 to 5 grains per gallon. And the reason is that a little bit of mineral allows the, the extraction and the oils to come out of the beans, whereas too much mineral, the, they bond with those things and it inhibits that extraction not enough mineral and you don't get the extractions at all and the, the coffee or espresso really tastes flat. There's not a lot of flavor to it. So to, to get the best water for a coffee shop, you have to pay attention to what kind of water you're starting with. We can filter it, get the chlorine and chloramine out, for example, and maybe the mineral content in the water for that coffee shop is right on to what would be perfect for the coffee and espresso, in which case you would just filter out the chlorine. If there's too much mineral, then you're going to want to take steps to reduce that. And, for example, there's, there's products on the market that will allow you to blend some of the raw water as well as removing... Uh, a lot of the hardness minerals, for example, and in that way you can hit the sweet spot of just the right water quality for the coffee shop. What is the best filtration system for my coffee machine at home? The best filtration for your coffee at home has again a lot to do with the water quality that's coming into your house. Many times just removing the chlorine or chloramine from the water really makes all the difference in the world and you get a great cup of coffee. Sometimes you might have a lot of hardness in your water or you have a water softener already. Well, too much sodium in that water uh, going into your coffee maker could make the, the coffee taste a little bitter. So you might re need a reverse osmosis system to reduce some of that sodium. Do you have to use filtered water in a Keurig? Using filtered water in a Keurig is probably good because it's going to enhance the flavor of the coffee. Some Keurigs come with a filter built in. You got to make sure you replace it or it could make the coffee taste worse. But yes, using filtered water in a Keurig is good action. Uh, you're going to help enhance the flavor of the coffee. Well, that's all we have for this topic. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you liked it. Be sure and like this video 
and subscribe to our channel or check us out on our website, freshwatersystems.com. Happy drinking.